there is actually only one tiger species, but each type of tiger is considered a subspecies. A subspecies is a group within a species that is either physically or genetically different from the rest. There are nine subspecies or types of the tigers, three of which are now extinct. The remaining six subspecies include the Bengal, Indochinese, South China, Armour, and Sumatran tigers. Tigers are one of the most awe-inspiring, courageous wild animals living today. The world's largest cat species can be found in R East Russia, part of North Korea, China, India, Southwest Asia, and the Indonesian island of Sumatra. However, the human population has grown than encroaching on tiger habitats, causing their territory to decrease. Pressure from habitat loss, illegal killing, and sinking food supply had pushed all species of tigers on the endangered list. While the tigers can be identified by their signature stripe and powerful stature, not all of these big cats are the same. In fact, tiger stripe patterns are all as unique as a human fingerprint. No two are the same. Let's take a closer look at each of them. The Bengal Tiger Panthera tigris tigris, also called the Indian Tiger or the Royal Bengal Tiger, is native to the Indian subcontinent. Although it's one room the much larger area, the Bengal is currently found in India, Bangladesh, Nepal, and Bhutan. The Bengal Tiger is on the endangered list. It is the most well-known breed of tiger and the largest tiger found in the wild. A male Bengal weighs between 397 and 569 pounds. The female is smaller, weighing between 220 and 350 pounds. If you are lucky enough to see a white tiger, it might be an albino or the result of the genetic mutation. If it's white with black stripe and has blue eyes, the coloration is caused by a genetic mutation called leucism and is specific to the Bengal tiger. But parents must have the gene for a white cub to occur. It's rare, however, only resulting in one out of 10,000 birds. An albino tiger, on the other hand, will be entirely white, no black stripe or very thin stripe, and have pink eyes. Few white tigers survive in the wild because their white fur doesn't provide any camouflage protection for the tiger. The Siberian tiger, Panthera tigris altaica, also known as the Manchurian tiger, Korean tiger, Amur tiger, or Usurian tiger, is an endangered species that lives in northern Asia. China, Russia, and Korea, although its territory was once much larger. Even though the Bengal tiger is larger in the wild, the Siberian tiger often grows to be larger than the Bengal in captivity, making it the largest purebred cat in the world. Crossbreeds such as the Liger, a mix between a female tiger and a male lion, gets much larger than their parents, however. A full-grown male Liger can weigh as much as 1,600 pounds. That's three times the size of a Bengal and Siberian tiger. When Bengals and Siberian are crossbred, they also become larger than their parents. Although the heaviest Siberian tiger has a record of weighing 660 pounds, it's typically smaller than the Bengal. Male Siberian tiger generally weigh between 389 and 475 pounds. Females typically weigh between 260 and 303 pounds. The Siberian has broad chest and large skull. Its thick fur, which protects it from the harsh winters of northern Asia, tends to be a less vibrant color of orange than the other tiger subspecies. The Sumatran tiger, Panthera tigris sumatrae, is the smallest tiger subspecies and lives on the Indonesian island of Sumatra. Because it lives only on an island, it has been isolated from the other tigers that has resulted in genetics that are different from its mainland cousins. The Sumatran tiger is a critically endangered species. Two other tiger subspecies, the Bali tiger and the Javan tiger, once occupied the same area but are now extinct. The Sumatran tiger weighs approximately half of the Bengal or Siberian. A male Sumatran tiger weighs between 220 and 310 pounds, whereas a female weighs between 165 and 243 pounds. Since the Sumatran tiger is only slightly shorter than the Bengal or Siberian and weighs significantly less, it has a slightly build compared to its bulkier cousins. The stripes of the Sumatran tiger are very dark and well defined. They cover the tiger's entire body, including its forelegs. Not all tigers have stripes on their front legs. The Indo-Chinese tiger 
Panthera tigris corbetti, also known as Corbett's tiger, is named in honor of the famous British hunter Jim Corbett, who was often enlisted to hunt down man-eating tigers and leopards early in the 20th century. The near critically endangered Indochinese tiger is native to Southeast Asia, China, Thailand, Laos, Burma, and Vietnam. The illegal trade of tiger parts, which are in highly demand, is the main reason for a quickly dwindling Indochinese tiger population. There are only around 300 to 400 Indochinese tigers left in the world today. Tiger farts are used in ritual, for meat, to make jewelry, medicine, clothes, and wines. Very little of the tiger remains unused. The Indochinese tiger has narrow, single stripes. The male Indochinese are generally weighs between 331 and 430 pounds, whereas the female weighs between 220 and 290 pounds. The Malayan tiger, Panthera tigris jacksoni, and occasionally Panthera tigris malayensis, is also known as the Southern Indochinese tiger. Its native range is Southeastern Asia, Burma, Thailand, and Malaysia. The Malayan tiger is very similar in appearance to the Indochinese tiger, except that it's slightly smaller. It wasn't even considered a unique breed separate from the Indochinese tiger until the early 2000s. This is why it has two scientific names. The scientific name Jacksoni was chosen to honor Peter Jackson, a British journalist, author, and photographer who was interested in tiger conservation. Useless popular was the scientific name Malayansis to signify the geographic location of Malaysia. The male Malayan tiger weighs between 220 and 308 pounds and the female between 165 and 245 pounds. Malayan tiger numbers are shockingly low. There are less than 200 breeding adults in the world and their numbers are still declining. The Malayan tiger has become critically endangered due to habitat loss and poaching. Like the Indo-Chinese tigers, Malayan tigers first are used in variety of ways from cultural rituals to traditional medicines. The South China tiger, Panthera tigris amoyensis, is also known as the Chinese tiger, the Siamen tiger, and Amoy tiger. It's native to eastern and central China, the Xiangqi, Guangdong, Fujian, and Hunan provinces. However, one hasn't been spotted in the wild for decades. Although not as small as the Sumatran, the Indo-Chinese, and the Malayan tiger, the South China tiger is one of the smaller tiger subspecies. A male South China tiger weighs between 287 and 386 pounds. The female weighs between 220 and 254 pounds. The South China tiger is critically endangered and facing possible extinction. Only 30 to 40 are known to exist in the world and all are living in captivity. In the 1970s, there were more than 4,000 South China tigers living in the wild. Now none exist. What happened? When the Chinese government was clearing land for development, they had all tigers killed that were displaced. Habitat destruction and eradication measures led to the decimation of the South China tigers in the wild. Regretting their actions, the Chinese government now works to protect the South China tiger. Currently, zoos in China and South Africa have breeding programs working hard to increase their numbers. Unfortunately, you won't have the opportunity to see three extinct tiger subspecies. These include the Caspian tiger, Panthera tigris virgata, the Bali tiger, Panthera tigris balica, the Javan tiger, Panthera tigris sondaica. These subspecies of tigers have not been spotted in decades and none are known to be in captivity. Habitat loss and illegal poaching led to the extinction of these three tiger subspecies and continue to plague all tiger species that remain. If this threat aren't stopped, the remaining tiger subspecies may also become extinct. The Caspian tiger was large, powerful tiger and lived around the Caspian Sea. Its colors were muted, so much so, in fact, the Caspian tiger was sometimes referred to as the gray tiger. However, surviving pearls have rusty orange fur with quite a bit of brown. Perhaps the gray was a mutation such as that which created the white tiger and the blue tiger. The Bali tiger, another native of the Indonesian islands, was once the world's smallest tiger. 
the male weigh between 200 and 220 pounds and the female between 143 to 176 pounds. It hasn't been spotted since 1930s. The only remains of the Bali tiger are bone and skull which have been preserved in museums. The Javan tiger was the last of the three tigers that lived in Indonesia along with the Bali tiger and the Sumatran tiger. The Javan tiger was slightly larger than the Bali tiger. Although it has been listed as extinct since the 1970s, there are still periodic tiger sightings in the area which could be the Javan tiger. Unfortunately, all types of tigers are either endangered at some level or extinct. Places like wild animal safari that offer protection are so important if we want to preserve the tiger population.